Hello and welcome everyone to this video on creating and using interfaces by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of interfaces in our SAP web program. Now see, I'm using BAPI. What is BAPI? BAPI stands for Business Application Programming Interface. And what is BAPI? BAPI is nothing but a standard programming interface that enables the external access to business process in SAP system. That is, you can use, you can allow external access to your SAP system by using BAPI. Now, BAPI is in SAP system are implemented as function modules. And what kind of function modules? They are RFC enabled function modules. So, in simple word, BAPI is nothing but a RFC enabled function module plus business object. And BAPI is defined in the business object repository that is BOR and it is called as BAPI Explorer. Now, how do you create a BAPI? So, before directly jumping to it, I would like to show you the requirement. So, suppose this is my custom table and there is no content at this moment in this table. No data you can see, no table entry. And I have a notepad file which consists of five records which I want to store in this particular table. And I want to use the concept of BAPI. So for that purpose, what I will have to do, I will have to create a RFC function module, then I will have to create a business object. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So for creating any function module, the first required thing is we should create a function group. So, function group are nothing but a container. Then, we can create our particular BAPI. These are some of the prerequisites of BAPI which you can use. So, I am going to show you this particular BAPI which I have created. For that purpose, simply go to SC37. BAPI underscore create one uh, create some insured things okay sorry Z Bapi employee underscore create underscore one Z Bapi underscore employee underscore create underscore one so Z BAPI underscore employee underscore P one. Yeah, it is. See in display mode, first go to attribute. We can see it is remote enabled module. Then in import section, I have given the structure which I'll be passing. And in export section you can see I have given the return which is of type BAPI return to which is always mandatory in any BAPIs. Then in source code I have created a structure and for employee ID and employee name I am passing it from the import parameter. Import a structure then I am modifying my table and after that I have written if size of RC equal to 0 commit work and wait. So this is all about it. So, after you create your particular RFC enabled function module, simply click on this function module and here go to release and release your function module. Then go to SW1 transaction code and there you need to create a particular object type. Then you will require to create a method there and you will be merging your function module with the BAPI. Now, see, this is my particular BAPI here, which I am going to use it. So, I am going to show you my program which I have created. So, this is the program here and see what we are doing here. First, I have created a type structure, then an internal table. Then, in the startup selection, see what I am doing. I have used the file open dialog method of CLGUI frontend services class. And what is the use of this particular function? Uh, this particular method it simply navigates us from SAP system to local system. So, in this particular file table parameter, you will get the name of your file which you will select. And this will be the name of the file because this file table is nothing an internal table. So, I am reading it. Then I will I am storing this 
the name of the file after that i am calling the gui upload method of cl gui front end services class to upload the file from my local system to my sap system it will return me the data here then i am calling the particular function model so simply i am putting a debugger here click on execute button go to desktop and select the particular file click on allow debugger will we go to will go to debugging mode here in ld file i must be getting all my reports yeah i am getting all the records now see click on f6 here so for since it is in inside a loop you will be getting the value in this return simply just put f6 you will be getting a re return each and every time for all the records and the loop will iterate for five times see what we are getting we are getting messages and the messages is 000 which means there is no error then simply click on activate button now see we are getting all the okay message it means that we have written our the particular operation has been performed in su successfully and my data would have been stored till now so simply we will go to our table click on contents tab click on execute button see all my data has been stored here so this is how we can use the concept of interface that is bapi and we can store any data in our bapi these are some of the prerequisites which you always prefer and i show you showed you already all the programs that i have used here this is all about creating and using interfaces in sap web program so thank you very much mm -hmm.